Wow, yesterday was a doozy. What? I think if you are coming to Korea for the first time and you're renting an apartment privately, um, when you come to pay your rent and to pay the rest of your deposit, what I would suggest is that you actually have it in cash. Because there is a problem with the banks, they would only let us take out uh, $300 each time per day. So we had to pay, we had to give $8,000, almost $9,000 to our real estate agent and we almost couldn't, they almost didn't let us live here because um, we could only take out $300 per day each. So there was no way that we were going to have that money available. Um, luckily I had, I had some money that I had cashed out before we came, um, but it wasn't enough so we gave, we basically gave them $2,400 and uh, we promised that we would try to get the rest by Monday. So we have to go wrangle with the banks again today and see if we can get that organized. Mm -hmm. it's, it's frustrating and if we don't have it, then we get kicked out on Monday. But um, I guess it's a learning curve. And if you look around behind me, there's Mark and Ruth. So um, if you look around behind me, see these streets? They are really narrow, but Cars go both ways down there, so it's not un it's not unusual to be turning a corner and find com somebody coming straight at you, and then you kind of fight it out for right of way. I'm so glad I'm not driving in Korea, but we're going to catch a bus, so we'll see you later. Mark is such a starer. It is really hot in Korea and um, it's really muggy and we've been experiencing thunderstorms all day with, so it's 92% humidity and about 32 degrees Celsius um, so it's hot and because of that I haven't bothered putting on any makeup or really doing much just moisturizing my face today because it will all sweat off anyway um, so we've been getting quite a few done but quite a few things done but something that is really, really cool about Korea is that everywhere you go, you will find the most random places with Wi-Fi. There is free Wi-Fi here. I'm sitting in a laundromat. It's uh, not far from our apartment. It's actually just a um, pretty much right across the street from us. Uh, so we came in here to have a look because we don't have a washing machine and we need to do some laundry and we, I don't know, I looked at my phone and I'm like, why have I got Wi-Fi? got full service and we, these, these Wi-Fi spots just pop up in the most random places. We found one on a corner when we were waiting to cross the road. So my roommate Ruth, there she is there, Ruth stood on that corner and took care of all of her business as much as she could before she caught up to Mark and I who had just walked away without her. And now that we're in the laundromat and she has discovered Wi-Fi, well she ran back to grab her phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so things we're getting done today at between 6 and 7, the, some people will be there to check the safety for our gas and then uh, between 8 and 9 because our boiler isn't working so we have no hot water, our um, uh, servicemen will be there to fix that so we can have hot showers tonight. Which is good because you may or may not realize I have curly hair and um, it's basically turned into a giant dreadlock overnight. But it is getting very, very curly. So <laughs> I've missed my curls. Sometimes I forgot how curly I really am. Um, so yeah, and our real estate agent, oh my gosh, our agent is amazing. She is absolutely awesome. I said that we were having trouble with the water and she sent me a message straight away. It's like, can I please come? And I said, sure. Then 30 seconds later you hear the... That's a bad knock. Knock on me. On the door. And there she was. And she checked everything over and called the servicemen. So, yeah. Really good. Really responsive. Um, I think we're pretty lucky that way. So, we just have to figure out a few other things to make sure we can stay in Okay. See you later.